welcome to the June and Lewis show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tonight we are at the Panamanian Caribbean Festival where that we're going to be seeing the exchange of the crown of the Tampa Panamanian Queens and as well as meeting with the oldest rapper in Panama, Spanish rapper, the first Spanish rapper in Panama. So look, guys, that is it. Let's go in and see what's happening. Hi, this is June Ed Lewis with the June Ed Lewis Show and look, as I told you before, we are going to be at the Panamanian event this weekend. And I have the privilege of meeting and speaking with the new queen of the Panamanian society. And you're going to be the Panamanian, Tampa Panamanian. Yes. Right. And yes. this is Miss Tanny D. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being on this Junan really Lewis good. show. <laughs> I want to say that this outfit is gorgeous thank you are we getting are we getting something from the bottom oh, wow. because it is gorgeous <laughs> it is beautiful thank you. Thank she you. is well representing today of receiving the crown for panama yes. now tanny i know that you are a singer as well mm -hmm. yes tell us a few of the songs that you have sung Vuela bella and tres besos which is um three kisses Sabes que yo nunca te pudo olvidar. Eres mi hombre de mi vida. Something like that. All right. So do you rap as well? Yeah, I do. Well, you're going to definitely have to rap something for me. Really? Wow. Como lo siento que no pueda soportar. Estar con Dios mira otro día más. Pero ese engaño ya no puede continuar. Si Tani D mira ya no te aguanta más. Esos momentos que tú y yo hemos pasado. En Panamá mira el año pasado. En realidad nunca hubiese pensado. Que algún día me fuera de tu lado. Que no tendría suficiente valor. Te has equivocado. Lo siento mi amor. I am so happy that you were able oh to do God. that for me. Now, we're at the event tonight. Yes. And you are going to be receiving your crown. Yes. Tell me, in terms of you being the new Tampa Panama Queen, what are your roles? What are the things that they're expecting you to do? Well, I will have to help promote the new, the, the new events that they're going to have throughout the year. Um, just like Marianela, I know that you met her la last for their last show. Um, I'm going to have to go and, you know, in front of the media and talk about all the good stuff that they're doing for the community and you know, promoting the culture and embracing the other Latin com countries and uh, other cultures that are here in Florida. Not only Latin, but all the different cultures. Okay. Are you expected to travel as well? Um, no. <laughs> Well, I would do whatever, you know, whatever the they ask you to do, you ask me to do, I would do it. But I really, I'm really comfortable right now here. here. So what is your anticipation? What do you look forward to this? You've yeah. made, you have a lot of time out of your life to be able to do this. Because I know you're married and have children. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I do. Um, Tani D doesn't, but Tanisha does. <laughs> I, and the okay. fun uh, anecdote or, you know, about this is that this is not my first time as Panama's queen or okay. carnival but then the real Panama carnival um, it takes a lot more I did have to travel the first time that's why I said no this time yes. and then you know you have four days five days of a lot of parading and going on TV and all that stuff in front of the lottery um, and back then I was much younger and you know this year this time around I know it because it's in the United States it's a little bit more calmer so they might not have me traveling but it's still a wonderful experience and an opportunity to represent our our country and our community fantastic now because you do have a busy lifestyle you do have a business that you own yeah. and you do have all the things that you do um, plus your show your 1080 show tell me how this is going to affect your normal life None at all. Not at all. It will not. It, you know, I do have, when I take a responsibility, I know that I have the time to balance all of this. And it's just going to, you know, help me get more into the community and, and definitely have that exposure. Good. Fantastic. And look, you have to look at the Tanny D Magazine show and tell people how they can get a hold of you, how they can see your show. 
Yeah, well, um, you could actually look at it through YouTube, www. Dot, well, YouTube, just just do Tiny D TV Magazine on Facebook. Also, you do the search for Tiny D TV Magazine or on Instagram, you can follow us at Tiny D Enterprise. You guys keep watching. We're, we're going to bring you more. We're going to speak with the former queen. We're going to show you the difference of when they're exchanging. And we're going to have some partying at the end of this. We're going to be partying and having a good time. So keep watching the June and Lewis show. <laughs> And I am with the current queen, Maria Nella Visueti. All right. And tonight she will be passing on her crown. And also I'm with the ambassador, Kenya Garcia. Okay. And I'm with the, current, the queen that's going to be crowned tonight also. And it's you for the young people, Isabel Garcia. Okay. All right. And look. You guys have all here tonight and you're here at this current event and this is a major chapter because for you this is your first time having a crown? I'm very anxious today. Um, I'm, when I'm there I, I will be respectful to our people and they're looking at me and I will be excited for them. Okay, fantastic. How old are you? 15. You're 15. Oh, wow. So this is big responsibilities for you. Yes. Okay. So you're going to have to be an ambassador in school as well? Mm, yes. Okay. Because you're going to have to represent Panama all the time, right? Yes, I will be representing Panama all the time. Yes, okay, well, good. Well, congratulations to you, yes. And now let me speak to the ambassador. I'm assuming you're her mother? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> your name gave it away, okay. Tell me as a mom, how do you feel about your daughter taking on this responsibility? Muy contenta por la ocasión, very happy for the occasion. Very happy for her? Okay, great. And as an ambassador, what are your duties as an ambassador to Panama? Representar a los panameños con mucho honor y ayudarlos en todo lo que se le ofrezca y estar siempre a la orden para ellos. Okay, good. Now you tell me what she said. You tell me what she said. Oh, um, very um help all the Panamanians and be like a leader for them and help them with all they need for her job good thank you so much ladies for that information and for you marinella you it's your time has come yes. and tell me which is your feeling about this handing over your crown and did you enjoy your responsibilities i i did i, I had a wonderful time it was an amazing year i i feel that you know i I'm handing my crown to two wonderful ladies, uh, Reina Calla Abajo, Reina Calla Arriba. They're, they're, they're going to do amazing with the crown and they go, hope they're going to do more than what I've I done. So I'm happy to uh, just give my crowns to them. So. Okay, good, fantastic. Well, I'm pretty sure you did an excellent job. <laughs> thank you. I, I did. I tried my best. Yes. I, I tried. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank and it's, it's great to me. see you again. Yes. Thank you. It's, it's an honor to have you here. And thank we're you. very happy and very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Coming up next, we have the first rapper for Panama that I'll be interviewing. And this is going to be a hoot because when I think of the first rapper, I think of somebody that's a little on the older side. So let's see what he has to say. <laughs> And we are back with the first Spanish rapper from Panama, Spanish rapper, Renato Eleni. How are you doing? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm here happy and, you know, in Tampa for the first time of my life, you know, because I've been to L.A., I've been to New York, I've been to um, Miami, but I've never been in, in Tampa and I'm so happy to be here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Tell me about this. What inspired you to start rapping and when did you start rapping? Okay, I came from the Canal Zone, uh, you know, part of Panama that used to belong to the American, American Forces. And uh, I moved from um, what we call Pedro Miguel to Panama City. Uh, I was like, you know, at 18, 17, 18 years old. And I started hearing this um, 
reggae music that was playing on radios and stuff and i used to be i started to be a dj you know what i'm saying so um i started doing this stuff in english because i didn't i didn't need to speak um spanish and then i learned and after a dj showed me how to um how you can say um uh do my mc on spanish instrumentals i start doing this stuff in spanish you know telling all the girls to move their body lift up their hands you know we got a party and stuff so we i started like that and then I, we did a, a song in spanish that it was uh bobby lamb books in jamaica right. uh, uh, yeah what the police right. can do what so the i police did, can do yeah. and i and i did it in spanish and it was a great hit in panama wow. and then from there that's that's 1984 it start the reggae in Spanish started to flow because I was a DJ and a singer in Panama. So you were a hit in Panama. Yeah, I was all right. Yeah. you know, I was all right in Panama. You know, I, I didn't look for the millions, but you know, I was it's okay. It's okay. I, I was all right in Panama. Who inspired you in reggae? Who in reggae back in the '80s inspired okay. you? Uh, I used to hear music from Bob Marley. Um, oh, okay. Gregory Isaacs. Uh, oh. Uh, still Third World, Steel Pulse. Those are the guys that I used to admire. Hear the music. You know what I'm saying? The music that came from Jamaica. Yes. You know, came from Jamaica. And then, you know, it's like when you're a kid and you like doing a certain amount, certain right. type of music, you, you get in the flow of the music. You try right, to find out right, who is the right, person right. and the, the music, the instrumental and stuff. Right. So that, then after that, mm, there came this other guy that was a great hit called um, Yellow Man. Oh, and so the, Yellow Man. The, yeah. The dance hall guy, Yellow Man. So I start rapping on those uh, instrumental, you know. So I have to stop you because. After you tell me about those great, that's my type of people too. That's who I was influenced by. So I want you to do me a favor, haul something out for me today. Oh, you want me to sing something for sing you? Something. Well, Listen, you, wanna, you, you know, do I don't give me Spanish and English. Give me that. Oh this yes, en la chica de los ojos café, y en mi chica de los ojos café, mami tú eres muy hermosa, y no te cambio por la dama de rosa y mamacita tú eres original y te ves mejor que la famosa que yo son lo que me follow pa class, ve lo que me follow pa class, ve lo que me follow pa 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 class, ve lo que me follow pa class, ah 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 así, bra. You heard it there from Renato Renato it, so tell the people how they can get a hold of you on social media what and what oh, work how can they uh, uh, it's easy. my Instagram is Renato 507 Renato 507 you know it's the same on Twitter uh, Renato uh, uh, low tag 507 and uh, my number is is on it's on Facebook you can find me at at my name Renato Alder you know, A-U-L-D-E-R. And uh, my number is 66, you know, 81, say, say, 81. 5470 you know from Panama City if you want a Spanish rapper that sings reggae songs you know me I'm here Renato for you 507 all right so you heard it from Renato himself it's an honor to speak with you mr. Renato it's an honor for me to speak with you guys all right good and look you're hearing it here from June Ann Lewis at the June Ann Lewis show, speaking to the first rapper in Panama. Wow! We are watching the former queen and the new teenage queen at this time. She's going to be crowned the new queen. Nuestra reina actual, Isabel I, gracias a la reina saliente, Granela Bisuetti.
Aquí vemos a la reina saliente con la reina de la allá abajo. Sí. Sí. Tenemos hermosas, bellas reinas se salir esta noche. ¡Wow! La cámara de Panamá, Ruta Mundial, Estado Florida, 2018. Join us on Facebook, join us on Instagram, and everything else. 
Thank you so much, guys. Have a blessed time. It's all about you, you.